Now that is what hyperinflation looks like. Now the question is how in a country like Venezuela does that happen? How, this is a picture of me the last time I was in Venezuela in 2017, you see me with a pack of cash in my hand, right? Uh, that was the price of one movie ticket. One movie ticket was that full pack of cash. Now that is what hyperinflation looks like. Can you imagine if you had to take a pack of $100 bills like that, that wouldn't even fit in your pocket, and that would be the price of one movie ticket in any movie theater in the country? And Venezuela, the country with the largest oil reserves in the world, lines up for gasoline all over the country. And, the, and of course, high inflation, shortages of goods, uh, you know, lack of electricity, water, and and then the ju just the general safety have led to millions of people living in our country. Venezuela today is the largest refugee crisis in the planet, with seven million people, according to the United Nations, outside our country. This is more than there are Ukrainian refugees, more than there are Syrian refugees outside of Syria, and there is no war in Venezuela. There is no chemical weapon being used against the population, unlike in Ukraine and Syria, respectively. What there is, is a government that has obliterated our economy.